So hey there guys, it's Metro and today we're taking a look at another artifact. This time it's going to be the Holy Paladin artifact. Just a little, my discussion really about which traits and which directions I think is going to be the best for Legion. Like I said in the previous video, of course the goal is to get every single trait in here. Right? So keep that in mind. This is kind of just for the first month or so where you have a very select path that you need to follow. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, this is a healer this time instead of a tank, so you have to approach things a little bit differently. You have to look at ways that you could maximize uh, both in and out of five mans because you're going to be doing five mans, and then you know early raids as well are going to come into play two weeks in. So the same thing applies. You're going to be able to get something that's going to help you in five mans a lot and then get something that's going to help you in raids a lot. Uh, before we even start here, guys, this is so unbelievably good, it's unreal. If raids open day one, I would say that this is, has to be taken first. It is so unbelievably good. Having a raid CD get boosted by an artifact trait just seems crazy to me. Uh, but yeah, since it's going to be five mans first, we're going to start with this. Obviously, we have to take that. Then we're going to go over here. Uh, our first golden trait is going to be going towards Power of the Silver Hand. Uh, but we have to take Knight of the Silver Hand first. Unfortunately, if this was only switched, what a game this would be. Uh, but yeah, Shock Treatment is definitely the best three points you could spend on your artifact. Uh, increases DPS and HPS, which is going to be very big for dungeons. So we're just going to take a little divergence immediately and go pick that up. It's unfortunate that we have to do that, but it is very, very, very good. And then we're going to take Vindicator. Not very good for actual dungeons, but it can be very good, obviously, for healing. Uh, and then here are two incredible, basically, passives. Uh, we get the Lover of the Light just increases the healing you do by those core spells. Very, very good. And then, of course, Power of the Silver Hand. Now, this is a very, this is a complicated spell, complicated golden trait in general. Uh, so I would recommend you guys reading into it a little bit, checking it out, uh, looking for maybe a week or something like that. I've heard difference, you know, difference in opinions on, well, you need to track it, you need to use it properly, it's going to be really important. But basically, if you don't, it's just a boost to the, the spell, you understand? Because Holy Light and Flash Light have a chance to unlock the power of the Silver Hand. First of all, that happens more often than you expect. Increasing the healing of your next Holy Shock by 10% of all damage and effective healing you do within t the next 10 seconds. Well, you're going to be doing those things, right? You're going to be casting Holy Light. You're going to be casting Flash Light. The only thing that kind of sucks for dungeons is it's going to be harder to weave those in than it would be in raids. But regardless, you will be using those spells very often, okay? And then you're also, after you use those spells and a procs, you're also going to be doing damage and healing. So even if you don't pay attention to it, as long as you use Holy Shock every 10 seconds, you're going to use this and it's going to help you. Right? So it's actually really good. It's almost a passive, but it can be tracked at like a kind of a higher skill cap. Uh, so then that's it. You know, you're going to have this like you get your golden trait mostly before you start heroics. Like you can get them like wall leveling if you really go out of your way. But yeah, mostly it's right after you uh, can get through some normals. And then after that, we're moving on to the right side. Uh, like I said, this is the goal here. All right. So we're just going to come back across. Second sunrise is actually really good. I kind of wish like this and this were swapped because this would be very good to have early. It's going to be amazing to have that happen early dungeons. Uh, but then you have the two best, uh, like the best traits you can put two points into. Templar of the Light, and then you have to go to Focused Healing. This is actually pretty cool, though. Uh, Lay Enhanced Cooldown, Reduced by all that. Uh, it's actually really interesting because there's a artifact, or no, it's a legendary now, right? A legendary that makes it even lower, and then there's a talent that makes it even lower. So yeah, I I'm wondering, like, feasibly how low you can get uh, lay on hands too but anyway that's it's not really that great uh, but you have to take it and then protection of tier is so good for rating guys it's unreal uh, so let's actually take a look at how much artifact so we're at 3600 so that is not that bad considering you know what we expected with blood for the second golden trait uh, it's it's mostly because this is just so important we have to make a beeline for it we would not take any divergence no matter what protection of tier is going to be the best raid cd application ever the fact that it increases healing by 15 percent, and then the fact that you could increase the duration of it you can't see that but it's duration of aura mastery by two seconds okay these two things go so unbelievably well together if if raids open week one i would definitely be going for them first they're just that good the f oh, it's just so good man i cannot wait to actually raid in legion i hope you guys are as excited as i am as a holy paladin because we are going to be really really strong very versatile 
Uh, but anyway, after that, it's kind of up and down, man. I don't know. This is so good, too. I wish this was on. Like, I wish this was down here somewhere instead of this. This is so stupid. It's kind of cool since you're going to, like, I, I really like Judgment of Light. A lot of people don't. Uh, but I I'm going to be using Judgment of Light very often. I'm going to be doing a lot of damage very often. So this is kind of cool. You get some damage reduced. I, I guess it's good value for Light of the Martyr, but... Regardless, this is just way better value. If you can get this, I don't know, the quicker you can get that, the better, but then this is so shit, it's unreal. Share the burden is what I'll take next, at least, then. Reduces damage you take by Blessing of Sacrifice by 30%. And you're going to use this, right? Like, people are like, oh, Blessing of Sacrifice sucks now. It does not suck at reducing damage. Let's put it that way. It just kind of sucks because it gives you the damage, so you have to play properly. You have to play your class properly. And then after that, I guess you can grab this. It's not very good because when your target falls below 50%, your next holy light or flashlight on the beacon of target on the beacon of light or whatever the beacons are, light will heal for an additional 100%. Cannot occur more than once every 30 seconds. So yeah, it's it's really shitty because I don't know. You're gonna actually heal your beacon target. I don't know. That just doesn't <laughs> that doesn't really compute with me. Maybe uh, tanking is going to be a lot more devastating, so we're going to have to heal our beacon targets as well and give them more. I don't know. That, that just makes me think that the beacon's on the wrong target than if you have to heal them a lot. But uh, regardless, everything else is kind of shit. So let's see where we're at here. We're only at the 105k point at this point, so like you can probably not even take this if you guys really want to take something else. The only other options left are, of course, this, which is meh, it's interesting. Reduces the cooldown of Blessing of Freedom, Protection, Sacrifice. So, like, I don't know, if you had this and this, then it could be good, but I don't know, I don't find myself needing Blessing of Sacrifice that often, uh, at least on the beta currently, but when you do use it, you want to make sure that you can comfortably survive it without worrying, so, like, yeah, th these two things together are probably good, I'd say that's, like, the best of the three remaining, uh, this is really good, but I don't know, it's just, like, it's 10% and it's way out of the way, like, it doesn't help you get anywhere, so... It's, once again, unfortunate. Like, I would gladly swap that for any of the other... Like, this and that would, would swap so much better. I don't know why that's all the way up there and this is all the way down there. But these two together go well, so that, that's probably my best choice there. And then the final ones are going to be up here. Justice through Sacrifice. Increase the healing done by Light of the Martyr by 15%, which is good, but it's just Light of the Martyr, of course. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to be sniping. You're going to be overhealing with it anyway. So, And then, of course, it's going to make you take damage. So you don't... I don't know. It's up to you guys. But yeah, that's that. You're going to have a lot of crit so this is just so good man i can't i can't say it enough like let, let's put it this way uh, this is so much better than anything else you can get early it's it'd be worth it even if it was like all the way up here or something so definitely grab that it's only you know you'll get this definitely while leveling if you're going to level as holy especially this is in insanely good the more damage you can do with the spells the better so anyway if you have any questions let me know guys it's holy powder and artifact silver hand I think that makes pretty much sense to just start to power the silver hand and then go protection of tier. And then after that, you're kind of just filling in the blank. So if you have any questions, let me know.